Or to negative 2x. Okay, so let's take a look. If you're looking at this, I can rewrite. If I have 1 fourth and I want to use one of these properties, if I want to get this not to be a fraction, I would rewrite this as 4 to the negative first power. Just rewrite it to the negative first power. It's right there. It's exactly the same thing that we have, actually. Now, the only difference is we still don't have the same base, right? I don't, 8 and 4, these are not the same base. However, can I rewrite them with the same base? Well, let's look to 4. We already have 4, so let's do 4 squared. Well, unfortunately, 4 squared is 16. So I, there's not a way for me, um, without using uh, fractions, to rewrite 4 as a power to give me 8. So what I can do is, well, is there another number, another number that I can raise to the power that's going to give me 4 as well as give me 8? Well, let's try 2. 2 to the first, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 2 to the fourth. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 squared is 2 times 2, which is 4. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And 2 to the fourth power is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. So therefore, what you guys can see in this case is that, yeah, I can rewrite 4 and I can rewrite 8 as a base of 2. So first thing I'll do, though, is I'll distribute this. So this is 4 to the negative 2x plus 4 equals 8 to the x. right? I distributed that. Then let's rewrite 4 and 8 as base 2's. So this is 2 squared equals 2 cubed. Do you guys now see what I've done from the start to the bottom? The main important thing that you, that you should see as we've gone through is I went from here to here. Now I have an e equation with two exponents where the base is 2. Do you guys see the vision that I have? The vision is to get two exponents with a base of 2. Because now, once I have two exponents with a base of 2, what can I do? I can apply what? The one-to-one -one property. So whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, you need to solve. So this is 2 to the negative 4x plus 8 equals 2 to the 3x. Now, by rewriting this as a whole, as a whole number, by distributing that, by rewriting these both as a base of 2, I now can say negative 4x plus 8 is equal to a positive 3x. 2 and the 3 and 4? Oh, yeah. 2 squared? 2 four. squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. OK? This 2 squared is 4. Yeah. 2 cubed is 8. So I rewrote 4 and I rewrote 8 as 2's. Why would I want to do that? Because if I do that, I can now apply the 1 to 1 property, which states when you have two exponents with the same base, then you can cancel out the bases and just set their powers. So the thinking that I have here is, well, let's get the bases to be the same. Are the bases the same? No. So I wrote, rewrote them as two whole numbers. Are the bases the same? No. So therefore, I distribute that. Still, the bases are not the same. So then how can I rewrite 4 and 8 as the bases being the same? You rewrite 4 as 2 squared, and you rewrite 8 as 2 cubed. Now, distribute those. Now I can set these equal to each other, and now I solve the exponents. So therefore, I add 4x. So I have 8 equals 7x. Divide by 7, divide by 7, x equals 8 sevenths. And that's your final answer.